Ernest Jones is already the best linebacker on the Tennessee Titans. I'll show you what I saw on tape on today's film breakdown from Tic Tac Titans. Titans fans, welcome into another film breakdown from Tic Tac Titans, your home for Tennessee Titans X's and O's. I am your host, Tyler Rowland, 25 years a Tennessee Titans fanatic. I've covered the team for Sports Illustrated, USA Today, and I've been the host of the number one Tennessee Titans podcast, Locked on Titans, for six seasons. I'm also a film junkie, breaking down the X's and O's with you guys all year for free here on the Tic Tac Titans channel. On today's film breakdown, we're going to take a look at Ernest Jones' performance in Week 2 against the New York Jets. Got five plays that I want to go over with you guys where he showed what his skill set can be for this team. Before I get into it, do want to remind you to get subscribed, stay subscribed for year-round free Tennessee Titans film content. Also, make sure that you throw a thumbs up on the video, throw a Titan up down in the chat. And with that being said, as we always do... Let's step into the film room. Very first play from Ernest Jones here. It's early in the game. The Titans are in a zone defense. You're going to have Ernest Jones right here in the middle of the field. The Jets are going to run uh, a schemed up wide receiver screen here. And Ernest Jones does a great job of reading and reacting to what's going on. So Ernest Jones eyes on the quarterback. And immediately when he sees the quarterback turn over to make that throw, he's already working there. And what he's doing is right now Ernest Jones is squaring up, preparing for a block. But the block doesn't come, and this blocker actually ends up going out to get to the slot cornerback. And with that, Ernest Jones is able to attack upfield, and him and Jeffrey Simmons meet at the ball carrier. Bam. Good hit there. This is a third and one with the New York Jets running an inside run. And Jeffrey Simmons does a great job on this play, but look at Ernest Jones shoot forward, get through the line. And make the play. We can look at it at the end zone view for a, a more of a breakdown here. But what the Jets are running is a, a common play. You could call it inside zone. You could call it duo. I feel like all of these uh, videos, I talk about that. It's a debate as to what these plays are, whether it's inside zone or duo, because they look the same. But you're going to get a double team on Jeffrey Simmons right here. You're going to get a double team on Tavondre Sweat right here. The idea is that this guard, I think it's Elijah Vera Tucker, uh, is going to be able to double team. Jeffrey Simmons right here with Morgan Moses and then work up to Ernest Jones. And then this is going to be an inside run from Brees Hall right here. And again, it's third and one right here. So you, you got to be able to make a play if you're going to get off the field. And that's exactly what happens. Number one, obviously, we give credit to Jeffrey Simmons. Look at Simmons. Destroy this double team. Literally destroy it so that those guys can. I mean, it is absurd how good Jeffrey Simmons is at football. Okay, but let's watch Ernest Jones trigger with quickness. Boom, right through. And the way he jumps through that gap to make that play, it's instinctive, it's aggressive. Welcome to the Titans, Ernest Jones. So on this one, we have a perimeter run. You're going to have Ernest Jones right here at linebacker. The Jets are just going to run an outside run this direction towards Ernest Jones. And he's the one who makes the play, and he does a great job of using his quickness and his instincts to make this happen. Good stop for the Titans there. Let's look at it from the end zone view. On these run plays, that's where you really, really get a good look at what's going on. So 77, Tyron Smith, is meant to double team right here. And they do that successfully. And then 77 should climb up to the second level and take Ernest Jones. Watch Ernest Jones be able to get away from this block and then ultimately make the play. Look, 77 can't get hands on. We see the little jump inside from Ernest Jones there. Plants the foot. Bounce. Bounce. And he's right there to take him down. So that's just good athleticism from Ernest Jones, who's a very athletic linebacker, and also good eyes as well to read where the lineman or where the lineman's going to come to you, and then where the running back is going to go. Just an excellent play by fifty three. So on this one, you're going to get a basic outside zone run. Do you see Aaron Rodgers right there? I know that a lot of people do know this, but for those of you who maybe aren't as familiar with certain things, uh, this is called a can right here so the Jets have a play called they have two plays called they have one they have two all right they have the original play and then they have the can play so what's happening there is it's different than an audible where you're basically have more things 
available to you to change. This is just, hey, if it's not one, it's two. And when Rodgers is doing this, he's probably saying, can, can, can. You've probably heard that before on the broadcast. And that means that we are trashing play number one, and we're going to play number two. And a lot of times, it's a pass play at number one. And then if you don't get the look that you're looking for, you can can it and go to the run play. Obviously, it can be either. But the Jets can the original play here, and they go to an outside zone run this direction. And you have Ernest Jones right here at linebacker. Jones comes up, avoids the block, makes the play. And this is another scenario where 77, Tyron Smith, who is one of the best offensive linemen of my lifetime, just wasn't quick enough to get to Ernest Jones because Ernest Jones does such a good job of coming downhill. So what you want right here is, really, you want 77 to get to Arden Key, but Arden Key shifts inside, and that pulls 77 towards the middle. And now Ernest Jones has a free lane. 77 should get off the block here and climb to 53, but he's just not quick enough to do that at his age, and Ernest Jones makes a good play. So we're back to a pass play here for the Titans. The Titans are in man coverage, and you're going to see Ernest Jones take man on the tight end, but it's a quick pass out to the running back, all right? And Ernest Jones is waiting. So let's look at this again. Ernest Jones got man coverage right here, man coverage right here, and then Ernest Jones has man coverage on the tight end right there. So as the play develops, the wide receivers get out into their route, the tight end's there, Ernest Jones is right there. And not only does he have his man wrapped up, okay, he's right there in great position for the man coverage, but he also sees this running back coming in right here. And to play man on your guy, but also have awareness of what's going on, the tight end goes to block. This may have been a schemed up drag route for the, t for the running back with the tight end anticipating to block anyway. But Ernest Jones gets off the block, Rallies to the football with Kenneth Murray and makes a big hit. And look at him. Look at him celebrating there. Love seeing the afro hanging out of the helmet. It looks freaking awesome. Ernest Jones has a great aesthetic as a linebacker. Okay, maybe not schemed up with Rodgers looking at other options. But just a great play from Ernest Jones. And again, welcome to the Titans, man. Excellent stuff right there. The Titans were really weak at the linebacker spot, in my, my opinion. Making that late-round pick swap for Ernest Jones. Boom. And a big hit. Good awareness. Good speed. Exactly what you want. Titans fans, I hope you guys enjoyed that breakdown on Ernest Jones. Finally assumed his position as the starting linebacker for the Tennessee Titans in Week 2. And I would imagine that he would continue to get more and more comfortable. Shout out to Rand Carthon for an excellent trade to acquire Ernest Jones from the Los Angeles Rams. I think that was a pretty savvy move considering the Titans only did a late pick round swap. That's really nothing to give up. So an excellent addition to this defense. Look forward to continue seeing Ernest Jones grow with the Titans. That is going to do it for today's film breakdown, though. Again, make sure that you get subscribed. Stay subscribed for year-round Tennessee Titans film content for free. Never behind a paywall. Promise you guys on that. Also, thumbs up on the video. Tighten up down in the chat. You want some Tic Tac Titans merch, shirt, hat, hoodie, whatever you can imagine. The link for that is down in the description. But as always, I am your host, Tyler Rowland. And as I always tell you guys, tighten up.